I promised that I would do this somewhere on Twitter, so I'm going to do this now. Um, this is what's about to happen. The internet, the world, every, everyone's just going to start freaking out about In the Heights, the movie of In the Heights. Um, and it will be very much deserved because it is fucking incredible. I've been waiting for a few weeks to put this up. But now it kind of seems redundant because people are just going to see it and go, yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's like, just give them all the awards now. The performers, the creatives, give John Chu his Oscar, give Lynn his Oscar. You know, it's, it's, it's so wildly exciting to see this movie finally come out because it, uh, as Langston Hughes would say, it, um, it's a bit of a dream deferred because uh, it got wrapped up in a lot of weird Hollywood purgatory. You can look up the history on that, but then there was the pandemic and all this stuff. And, you know, they've been waiting to release this thing for a while. And, you know, for better, or for worse, it is now like the perfect movie to kind of lead us into this new chapter of, of the, the after times, you know, as we slowly come, come out from under the, the shadows and, um, it, it takes so much to pull off successfully a a really effective and dynamic musical in a movie format. And it fires off on all of the necessary cylinders that is just an absolute triumph. My headline is this, the In the Heights movie is musical theater on film at its absolute finest. Huge bravo to everybody involved. Uh, namely, you know, you have, when you have somebody as innovative as Lin-Manuel Miranda, as innovative of a creator being matched with an equally innovative filmmaker to complement each other, you just, you just have, you have the magic. And it really, really shows. These are two individuals who are deeply immersed in understanding how to bring musical narratives to life. Um, so it, <laughs> it's, they just fucking knocked it out of the park, man. And I'm so excited for a lot of um, Broadway Zone. You know, um, Anthony Ramos, who, you know, they did this movie a while ago by now. Um, the world finally gets to see him for the superstar he is. I mean, if, if you don't already know, the dude's a fucking sex riot. Has been for a while, but now mainstream audiences will see this. And that goes for a lot of the performers. I, I can't list all of them because then I'll start leaving somebody out and then I'll feel bad. But the entire cast is, is fucking incredible. And not that I have anything against performers that do movie musicals that don't necessarily have a background in doing Broadway. Um, because there have been plenty of people who have done a wonderful job and have created really memorable performances. But it is nice. It's, a, it's an extra bonus to see the people who have done it and have done the thing and can do the thing. It's nice to see them doing the thing in the movies. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, that certainly is present in this film. Everybody who's, who, who's performing is, is more than qualified to be there and are it just everyone's bringing their a-game it's crazy special shout out to olga meredis who was in the original broadway cast and has uh, a particularly poignant and um it's just really profoundly beautiful uh moment in the film that um has really stayed with me just give her her just give her the awards now too just let's just get let's just give it to him now um so enough about the performers. What else can I say about this movie? I mean, like I said, it was going to be a rant. So here I am. Um, I'm excited for other people outside of the Broadway nerd world to see this. Because as, as a Broadway dude, I, I tend to get stuck in the echo chamber of my own little universe. Where I go, of course, yeah, In the Heights. Everybody knows about In the Heights, right? Super successful musical. I want a ton of Tonys. Everybody knows about this. Not everybody knows about in the heights. They don't know. Like they, they might not even know. Like that has anything to do with Hamilton. You know, it's like, it's just to expect anybody to know this is ridiculous, right? So this is going to make this musical so much more accessible than 
than it was before. I mean, think about this. It ran for about three years at the Richard Rogers Theater. So if it was sold out every single night and they performed every single day, that's like somewhere between a million and a million and a half people got to see it on Broadway in person. And then I'll add another million people uh, because of all the tours that have been done in the United States and all around the world for the past 10 years since it closed on Broadway. So that's like 2 million people that have seen it in person. And then who knows, bootlegs, whatever. People have seen it at that level. In this opening weekend, 10, 20 times that amount of people will be able to see this and experience this wonderful, wonderful little tale and this wonderful, you know, piece of music. And, uh, and that's so exciting because it's people outside of the, the theater going community, um, who are, who are part of the Latinx community that maybe have never seen or, or heard of this show. Uh, people outside of the Latinx community, people that have, that don't even know about, you know, Washington Heights and, uh, and the, it's, it's unique piece of history in the cultural land landscape, the cultural tapestry of the United States. It, it makes the story accessible to so many people. And what's great is you don't have to be of any background to fall in love with this movie and this story, because we are all united by song and dance and celebration and everybody in every culture generation generationally knows the story of what it is to go to a new place and find the balance between maintaining your heritage but trying to redefine what that means in a new world that's constantly changing and it's constantly changing your relationship with that heritage and how that can really be a, a struggle for people but it ultimately through through the resilience of so many peoples and cultures creates something new and beautiful and unique and i get emotional thinking about it because that is like one of the most poetic and 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 heartwarming pieces of the great american dream of of the of the american tale it's one of the best parts of this country, despite all its booby traps and pitfalls and trials and, and tribulations. That story of people coming to a new place and creating something new and, and with by holding on to what has come before and, and doing that literal and figurative dance of, of maintaining tradition but redefining it all at the same time is, is such a universal story. Anyway, I'm starting to repeat myself because it's, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy that people get to see this film. I'm so proud of, of Miranda. I'm so proud of John Chu. They get to share this finally with the world. And I would encourage all of you to see this, uh, depending on where you are, what's available, what, what your comfort level is with vaccinations, etc. I would encourage if you can see it in the theater. I've seen it at home already, but man, I can't wait to get to a theater and experience this with other people and feel the, the goosebumps and the smiles and, and just the joy of these moments with my fellow human beings. I can't wait, but hey, you can watch it at home too. It's out tonight. No, they did not ask me to make this. They don't need me to make this. I just wanted to do this because I felt very strongly about how wonderful this film is. And um, I, uh, I hope you get to share watching this movie with somebody you love. Um, and uh, this, is, this is a, I think this movie is a, a big, massive cultural moment. And uh, I'm just so excited that it's in the world. So bravo to the cast and crew of the In the Heights movie. And uh, well done. <laughs>